Eclipse Oxygen is the great simultaneous release of 2017, the joint annual release by more than 80 Eclipse projects. Here are some general Java and Git improvements of the Eclipse IDE. Improvements that have been added since Eclipse Neon 3, which was released in March 2017. With the new so-called launch group, you can combine existing run and external tool configurations to a run sequence. For example, if your application requires a service that has to be started first, you can do this with a launch group. First start the server. If it is not already running, wait 5 seconds to complete startup. and then run the application. In parallel, or after the previous one has terminated, or has printed a specific string to the console, for example, number 3, you can run another or the same launch configuration. In the Quick Switch Editor dialog, opened with Ctrl E, repeatedly hitting Ctrl E cycles through all open editors. Hit Enter to switch to the selected editor. Ctrl E, Ctrl E, Ctrl E, Ctrl E, Ctrl E, Enter. In Quick Access, subwords are also allowed for searching now. For example, imp git will find import projects from git. There's a new Quick Access at the bottom. Search in Help. In the file menu, Switch Workspace and Restart have been pushed down to Exit. In the Switch Workspace dialog, there is a new checkbox to copy preferences. For example, shortcuts or editor settings. In the main toolbar, there is a new button, Eclipse User Storage. If you're already logged in, you can directly access your favorite plugins. With a few mouse clicks, you can install one, or all of your favorites, or favorites of somebody else. Or even easier, just drop a favorite link on your Eclipse IDE. The install dialog has become non-modal and does not block you anymore. Long-running operations are run in the background by default. There is no progress dialog anymore. Like the toolbar, also the visibility of the status bar can be toggled now. Window, Appearance, Hide Status Bar. By default, the perspective name is not shown in the window title anymore. You can restore the old behavior in Window, Preferences, General, Workspace by checking the new window title preference show perspective name. The product name can be hidden now. Have you noticed it? Some former OK buttons have been renamed after what they are doing. The new generic text editor can be easily extended to provide syntax highlighting and content assist. Currently, there is built-in support for different patch files only, but basic support for a wide range of file types is to be expected by Eclipse and by third-party plugins in the future. The Eclipse IDE for Java developers and Eclipse IDE for Eclipse committers packages are shipped with new built-in Java code coverage analysis. Launch your applications or unit tests in the coverage mode to collect coverage information. The coverage view gives an overview. In the editor, uncovered lines are highlighted in red. The class here has not been instantiated. Yellow means partially uncovered. Branch coverage is marked by diamond icons in the left ruler. A new button has been added to the JUnit failure trace header to show the stack trace of a failed JUnit test in the console view. Braces will be automatically inserted at the correct position by default now. 
Also, text escaping when pasting into a string literal is enabled by default now. You can change these behaviors in Window, Preferences, Java, Editor, Typing. When using the Organize Import dialog to import multiple unresolved types, you can now skip a type without cancelling the whole operation by using the new Skip button. No import statement has been added for the skipped URL. A new option has been added to code formatting that makes the formatter count a comment's width from its starting position instead of the beginning of the line. To restore the old style, uncheck count width from common starting position in the formatter profile. Some methods of collection types do not make use of generics in the way one might expect. For example, the type of the argument of the collections remove method is object. Also, the object argument type of equals allows code that compiles but will likely fail at runtime. For these kinds of problems, there are new heuristic-based checks. Warning for unlikely argument types. In Window, Preferences, Java, Compiler, Error Warnings, Potential Programming Problems, the unlikely argument type checking can be configured. During debugging, the last method result that was observed during step into, step over or step return is shown as the first line in the variables view. All the other breakpoints that are initially suppressed. A set of triggers for breakpoints can be defined now by converting existing breakpoints to trigger points. Check trigger point. Triggers will be marked with a T. Breakpoints suppressed by the triggers will be marked with a crossed out T. All the other breakpoints that are initially suppressed by triggers will be hit only after any of the trigger points has been hit. All the triggers are disabled after a trigger point is hit and will be re-enabled after the run. In the breakpoints view, the breakpoints can now also be sorted by creation time. There is a new experimental Java index which is disabled by default. The new indexing has a better performance when there are a large number of JAR dependencies but consumes additional memory and disk space. The new index has been adopted completely in the type hierarchy view and partially in some features that use the binary file caching. It hasn't been yet adopted by the search feature. The new rebuild index button can be used to delete and rebuild the existing index files, both legacy as well as new. Cloning a Git repository has never been so easy. Just drop a Git URL onto your Eclipse IDE. The pre-filled clone wizard guides you through the steps. This works with GitHub, Bitbucket and other Git websites that provide the Git repository under the same URL. Also pure Git repository URLs can be dropped. In the Git repositories view, in the working tree, multiple projects can be selected to import them. There are some small usability improvements that make life easier. Instead of clicking the small handle, you can now also double click on Staging View Folder node to expand it. When pasting or entering a branch name, spaces and tabs are automatically replaced with underscores. With the shortcuts Alt-M for commit and push and Alt-C for commit, you can commit only by keyboard. Control hash to open and focus the Git staging view and stage the open file or selected files. Enter a message. Hit Alt-M or Alt-C to commit and push or to commit only. These were some general Java and Git IDE improvements. But Eclipse is not only a Java IDE. 
Also JavaScript, C, C++, Arduino, PHP, Xtext developers and others will find many improvements in their Eclipse IDE. Eclipse Oxygen will be released on June 28. Download and read more about Eclipse Oxygen at eclipse.org oxygen. Thank you for watching and happy coding!